And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back, everyone. We have been seeing quiet weather so far here in the valley, but let's pan the map up just a bit to the northwest, and we are seeing severe thunderstorm warnings outside the valley in Zapata and Jim Hogg counties. Now, these thunderstorms are not headed to the valley. They are moving to the northeast. Now, I originally thought that we'd have a slight chance of some showers in the lower valley overnight. There is a possibility a few showers or even thunderstorms could make their way into the upper valley and the ranch lands over the next uh, hour or so. But we don't think the weather's going to be severe still here in the valley. That should stay to the north of us. But you see that the severe thunderstorm warning continues until 1015 for Zapata and Jim Hawk counties as it moves to the northeast. Up to the north, areas east and south of San Antonio seeing severe thunderstorm warnings, including Carn City. Tornado watches have been dropped for areas east of Dallas Fort Worth, but flash flood warnings continue for areas east of the Metroplex. And over to the west, behind that storm system, Look at the snow falling for the Texas Panhandle, Amarillo, as well as eastern and northern New Mexico, even into southeastern Colorado, again on the back side of the area of low pressure. Back home in the valley, temperatures still very warm, lower 80s, upper 70s right now. The front moves through later on tonight, so it's going to be cooler, much less humid for tomorrow. We'll start off with mostly cloudy skies in the morning, decreasing clouds by the afternoon. It is breezy, 69 degrees at 8 a.m., 78 degrees at noon, and 83 at 5 p.m., but best of all, as I said, the humidity is on vacation for tomorrow. So there's the front slowly making its way toward the valley. Showers and thunderstorms a mess in Oklahoma, North Texas, East Texas, and Arkansas. And here's future track. The front should arrive here overnight tonight. We'll put in a slight chance for some showers, including for the upper valley as well as for the lower valley. You couldn't rule out a shower perhaps for Hidalgo County, but at most the rain chances are about 20% overnight into early tomorrow morning. Breezy for tomorrow behind the front. It's going to feel pretty nice for tomorrow morning, even throughout the day as the humidity goes away. Less humid for tomorrow. A lot of sunshine for tomorrow afternoon. And not as hot as today with high temperatures close to normal. Even better by Sunday night and Monday morning. It's going to feel nice and cool as low temperatures will be in the upper 50s. It warms back up for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday before another front arrives Wednesday night. That gives us a better chance of some showers and thunderstorms, by the way, for a late Wednesday night of next week. And then cools off once again for next Thursday. Small craft advisory in effect through tomorrow afternoon for the Gulf waters. It's in effect for tomorrow uh, through tomorrow morning for the Bay waters. We'll have winds out of the north behind the front at 20 to 26 knots. The Bay Waters rough chop, so boating not good for tonight. Tonight's forecast mostly cloudy skies, 20% chance of some showers, maybe a thunderstorm late with a low temperature of 67 degrees. Then for tomorrow, clouds decrease by the afternoon. It'll be breezy, much less humid for your Sunday with a high temperature of 86 degrees. And here's that seven day forecast high temperatures back to 90 on Monday, but before that, a low temperature of 57 degrees. Nice and cool Monday morning. Back to 91 Tuesday. We have a better chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms late Wednesday night through early Thursday morning. So behind that second front, it cools off once again for next Thursday and Friday. That's your first Warren 5 forecast. Now here.